how to send emails with apollo.io hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how you can send an email using the platform of apollo.io it is very easy and very simple all you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go now i am going to apollo.io and this is the platform all you have to do is to sign up for free if you don't have an account or you click on login when you have already an account and you have signed up for the website. It will be logged in right here in just a few seconds and we will proceed to the action. Now we are on the home dashboard. This is our statistics. As you can see, we have sent zero emails and zero calls dialed. Now this is a new account and this is a creation for the sake of the video. I'm going to show you how you can create an email and send it. Here under the engage section, we have sequences, we have emails and calls. All you have to do now is to click simply on emails. Now we are on the email section. We have all the emails. This is the section where you will find the emails that you have set and created. And here we have the templates. From the templates, you can go ahead and create a template. Click on a new template simply and it will take you to this email editor. Here is the previewer or the template preview. And here is the email template. We have here the name the folder, the tags, and the owner. For the name, I'm going to put, for example, Jack Smith. For the folder, I'm going to click on Browse, and here I will click on All. You can go ahead and add a new folder, but it is up to you. The tags here, you can go ahead and search for the tags, or you can create some tags. I'm going to click on these tags that I have created already. This one work for example and workflow this is for the tags now the owner it is simply you the user or the administrator of this account the subject i have made a subject before it is called reminder for a programmed meeting on zoom here is the body all you have to do is to put the text right here you are going to insert some text for example uh, here you can add a text or edit the text formatting you can go ahead and put the fonts as you can see here uh, here we have some fonts we have the uh, size of the text for example i'm going to uh, select this text then i'm going to put it as large here we have the bold title titles and a lot of option for the text editor we can go ahead and insert a link for example I am going to put a, a link on the zoom I'm going to click on copy this link now I'm going to paste it on zoom simply click on insert link here I'm going to paste the link and here we go this is the uh, link and click on save link and as you can see the zoom word is highlighted in blue and also underlined that means that it will guide you or take you to another website we have also you can upload an image for example or you can add some files and also a raw html uh, edit that was for the uh, body of the email this is the previewer or the template preview. As you can see, we have here two, the subject, and here we have the body. And when I click on Zoom, for example, it will take me to a link, which is the link that I have copied from Apollo, and we are good to go. Now, when you finish setting up your email, all you have to do is you click on Save. Now, we have saved our emails. The first thing that you have to do after saving the emails is to set up the contact list that you have. All you have to do is to go to the search within the prospect and enrich. Then here, as you can see, we have the people. You can go ahead and search for people. 
or you can put uh, some lists. Here we have the people, we have the companies, and we have the saved list. For the people, whenever you add a person, it will be shown right here the contact of that person, the name, the email, the phone number, and etc. everything that you have chosen. If you want to import some uh, contacts or some persons, all you have to do is to click on this person that has a plus sign, which is called import contact, and you can just add one contact or add a bulk of contacts within a CSV file. I'm going to click on just one contact. Here you can put the first name of that contact, his or her last name, the email address, for example, the job title, the account, and the company name, also the contact stage. For example, it is interested. Now, with the additional information, this is the phone number. You can put the status as, for example, verified, questionable, invalid, etc. You can add another phone number. We have the phone notes. We have the LinkedIn URL, the location slash the country, and the time zone if you want to add some. And here also you can add a contact custom field. This is the add or remove custom field for the contact. Now, whenever you finish up this process, you click on save contact and it will be here uh, displaying the contact. This is the name of the contact. I can add this contact or this person to a sequence or you can add this email uh, this, since this is not a, a verified email you can add this email or, or his email to the contact list here we have the contact added to the search of the people you can add some actions to this contact as you can see here we can send the email to this person for example I click simply on send email and it will be showing up the email right here. Now we have the drafted email. You can load existing template. For example, we have this a reminder for a programmed meeting on Zoom. Click on this and you will be good to go. I don't need it to write within AI, but if you have to write it with it or use it, you can go ahead and use the help of the AI. And now this is the uh, contact or the email you click simply on send now and you will be good to go and here we have sent our first email that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching and I hope you see you soon on the next one